Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this video, I am going to share with you some absolutely amazing vintage ephemera that I recently discovered in my mother-in-law's attic. Yeah, she is decluttering <laughs> her home. Uh, I agreed to help her and she walked me into her attic and I nearly fell out. Oh, oh my God. It was the jackpot of all things vintage. And I haven't even begun to scratch the surface, surface of that treasure trove. She has so much vintage goodness in her home that I am just floored and quite honestly a little bit overwhelmed. So you will see several videos where I am going to share what I have discovered in her attic. Um, I have plans for these things and that involves selling these items. As of right now, the plan is to just put up a little Etsy shop, temporary at that, just to de-stash. Is that the word? I don't know. To sell off <laughs> all of the vintage goodness that is in her home. And I have the shop name reserved. It It is my vintage attic, I-T-T-I-C, USA. I had to tack on the little USA so that the name um, would be available. So you'd be amazed how hard it is to get any kind of shop name with the word vintage and attic in it if you're trying to do it through Etsy. The shop, it's in the, it's, it's, it's not even open yet. I don't do Etsy, my friends. I've never had an Etsy shop. I've never wanted to have an Etsy shop. It's so much work. And I applaud those who do it. God bless. <laughs> but I just, that's a lot of time and dedication that I just don't have to commit. But I promised my mother-in-law I would help her. And so I'm going to help her. And if it means setting up a temporary little Etsy shop to help her move these items, then that's what I'll do. I will keep you guys posted. I may even try to sell some of the stuff through my channel here. I don't know. The only thing I can do right now is just share with you the goodness that I have found. And, and, um, yeah, I guess I'll figure out what the next step is going to be. But let me start with this beautiful ephemera. I am going to flip through all of these they're like pages from different magazines and some of them are little um, kind of like snippets or signatures from a magazine. Um, let's start with this top. They're all needle craft or fashion type magazines. This is a needle craft magazine from the 1920s and it is uh, the, oh my God, the aging is gorgeous. But what I loved about this, look at the advertisement. Isn't this absolutely Stunning. 1928. This is the June 1928 issue of a needle of Needlecraft magazine. And it is just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> My husband is looking at me. Um, as I'm bringing these things to my home, as his mother is dropping them off, he's looking at me like I'm absolutely insane. What are you going to do with all this paper? It's just trash. He doesn't get it, my friends. He doesn't know just what a treasure this is. Absolute treasure. I'm not sure if this is the same magazine or a different one. This might be a totally different page. This is 1928. This one was what, 19, yeah, 28. It might be from the same magazine. Could be. This is 1928. Look at how gorgeous this is. So this is another Needlecraft magazine. This is the January 19, January. Okay, so that first one was June. This is January. Look how beautiful. My goodness. 
Another one of those big, beautiful, beautiful advertisements. Oh my God, the colors. Come on, tell me I'm not crazy. You know, you know what a treasure this is. <laughs> this is treasure. Look at this. It's beautiful. Whooping cough. Quick, soothing relief. <laughs> My goodness. Look at the fashion. Why baby specialists urge you to nurse your baby? This is gorgeous. Aspirin. Bear aspirin. <laughs> ivory soap stencils for all of us pretty cool okay and then this is where I just about lost my mind this is absolutely gorgeous this is so super fragile it's the fashion book it's, it looks to me like it was some kind of advertisement um some kind of fashion type magazine and it says winter 19 and I do believe that's 12 1912 look how beautiful super fragile absolutely gorgeous look at this stunning I don't know what year this one is. This is, I'm not sure, but it has to be from like the same early, it's probably 1928, it's probably one of the pages from a Needlecraft magazine. Here's another Needlecraft magazine. This one's from May 1928. Beautiful. Campbell. Campbell has some beautiful advertisement going on here. Look at this. Beautiful. Famous cooking experts recommend making all your jams and jellies with Serto. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. It's stunning. I'm going to skip a couple of pages ahead. Look at this. Gorgeous. Instead of linen, Indian head cloth. Oh my gosh. Look at the back of this. Beautiful trying to find a year on this page I don't see a year on this page but it has to be in the same 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 time span as all the other stuff that's in this pile and this is gorgeous this is a um, much heavier weight paper almost like prints I don't see a year on these. I'm not sure. It must maybe posters. These could be posters. I'm not sure. But they are beautiful. Look at these. I'm going to have to research some of this. So I'm not sure what that is. Here we have another Needlecraft magazine, June 1928, 10 cents. Look at this illustration. How gorgeous. Look at the cover. Beautiful. Love that. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Here's October. Home Arts Needle Crafts or Needle Craft 1940. Oh my goodness. A lot of Needle Craft magazines. Yeah. Here's one. Let's see. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to find a year on this one. It's June. 
wonder if it's yeah, it's probably so it's probably the same one June 1928 beautiful here's January 1928 or at least part part of it this is June again look at how cute look at the little shoe closet right there gorgeous look at this one. Oh my god this is the ladies home journal for may 1919 oh my goodness what a beauty 1919 look at this my gosh this is just beautiful oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness i'm sorry i sound like a loon all i keep saying is oh my goodness oh my goodness but you guys you get it you get where i'm coming from you get where i'm coming from this is may 1925 look at that gorgeous gorgeous may 1919 Oh, oh my God, look at this. Tintex. Ten cents. Look at this. This is beautiful. Some of these are just absolutely frame worthy. Oh, look at this magazine. Wow. This is published by Henry Offerman in Brooklyn, New York. Copyright 1896. And this is called Fashions and Illustrated Monthly Journal for American Women. This is the September 1896 issue. Whoa. How gorgeous. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Gorgeous. Paper is super fragile. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Look at these beautiful. And I don't think I can get it all in frame. And I haven't even hit the halfway point in this, on this pile. And this is just the tip. The tip of all things that she has in her home. This is uh, Needlecraft, the home art magazine. This is February 1932. Beautiful. Look at this. The Ladies Home Journal, May 1919. Sweating dress is gorgeous. Heart and home, April 1903. 1903. Whoa. I feel like I should maybe be wearing white gloves. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. This is some kind of murder mystery. Oh my god. This is a chapter in apparently some kind of murder mystery series that they've been printing. <laughs> it gives a synopsis of the previous chapters. The illustration is amazing. And then it says help, help, murder, police. <laughs> oh my god. And this is... Augusta, Maine, April 1903. Wow. Gosh, I got to be super careful with this. Look at these advertisements. These are all sewing machines. I'm just going to start skipping some pages so that this... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even speak English anymore. Oh my, look at this. The latest New York. Can you see that? The latest New York fashions. 
and how to make them. I couldn't even imagine trying to make something like that. I would be a hot mess. Beautiful. Stopwatches. Not stopwatches. Um, oh my gosh, I'm having a moment. Those are beautiful uh, watches. Look at these shoes. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. This is from November 1906. Careful. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to try to flip through these pages because they're falling apart. Oh, they're okay. They're okay. They are okay. Oh, it's not. It's. Oh, is this. I think it's in French. Oh, yes, ma'am. Looks to be in French. Oh, that one was making me a little bit nervous. It's so fragile. Then we have here the Ladies Home Journal for May 1919. Oh, my God. The Vogue Pattern Book. April to May 1936. Gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful some advertisement here 1932 let's see if we can find a year on this maybe on the other side I don't see a year on it. Oh, 1924. Hmm. Hmm. Let every thought of Christmas giving center on onyx hosiery. Ooh. <laughs> this is from what year? Can't we find a year on this one? Winter. But of what year? I'm sure I'll find a year here somewhere, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. I wish I can find a year on this one. And she's thick, there's a lot in this book. Did I miss it on the page? Page one, I wonder if this is the cover for it. No, it can't be, that can't be the cover for it. Well, let's see. Maybe we'll spot it somewhere in the book. But look at how gorgeous. Are you kidding me with this? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, there's the dogs. My husband and my daughter are returning back from their socially distant <laughs> outing for ice cream and meet up with one of her friends who has, she hasn't seen in forever. Um, oh boy. Forgive me if you hear him yelling down that he's home, but I don't, well, he doesn't know I'm filming, so <laughs> more than likely he's going to just um, yell down the stairs that he's home. 
oh my gosh this is beautiful absolutely beautiful i can't find a year on it oh my god look at this wait 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 look at the pull out in the center of this it's a color pictorial late winter designs for tailored customs costumes what year are you Oh my god. Oh my god. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. These are just gorgeous. I unfortunately oh <laughs> you guys what did i find this is gorgeous what year are you my beautiful magazine maybe around here somewhere oh Oh my lord. <laughs> to think all of this was just sitting. Sitting, sitting, sitting. This seems to be... Oh, wait. I think this is the other part of that 1912. I'm going to put that to the side that we saw earlier. And when I tell you, my friends, this is just the tip of the iceberg... I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm going to share with you in some separate videos some of the um, other treasures I found. I couldn't find a year on this one. So, but this is the January 1920 uh, edition of the Delineator. wonder what kind of magazine that is. Or publication. I don't know. Gossip, a chat with Daisy Ashford. Oh my God, what's the tea? What's the tea? <laughs> oh my goodness, these are beautiful. Betty Bell and the Leading Man by Fanny Kilborn. Do you have some poetry, some stories, some advertisements? So what do you guys think about this? I think you all will agree with me. This is an absolute treasure. January 1920. Look at this. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Wow. So I think what I'm going to try to do before I sell this stuff is scan some of these images for me. <laughs> she said I can keep whatever I want and sell what I don't want, but I'm not, I'm not. I promised I would help her uh, move all this stuff and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And anything that I like, I will simply scan a copy of it for me my goodness look at that for oak for all cooking snowdrift pure vegetable shortening huh. oh my goodness you guys interesting fashions for practical use gorgeous I'm gonna skip ahead Wow. June 1935. It's an entire magazine here. Oh, it's another um, edition of the Delineator. <laughs> Look at the Heinz ketchup advertisement. Wow. Uh oh. 
That's a little risque right there. <laughs> Here's a little poem by Elizabeth Chrisham. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Gorgeous. This is Butterix. Purchase Butterix patterns at leading stores. I have some of these Butterix uh, patterns. They were also in the attic and I will be filming those in a separate video, but these look very familiar. I might have these very same patterns. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, secretary in name only. Looks like another short story. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Look at that. Boy, man. She looks like boss in charge there. All right. So let's skip ahead. This is August 1916. The Ladies Home Journal. One dollar a year. This is Philadelphia, August 1891. 1891. What? Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Chafing prickly heat irritations of the skin. Use Packer's tar soap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow. This is actually, this paper feels really, considering its age, really nice shape. Look at these. Beautiful. Children's page. Oh, these are little children's short stories. Okay. And then here we have the Ladies Home Journal, July 1894. Ten cents. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, I'm, I'm going to be super careful with this. All right, we're going to just skip around in this one. I don't want to fuss with her too much. My goodness. And look at this. What is this? Sunday Magazine of the Philadelphia Press, February 5th, 1911. Wow. And it seems to be backed. Oh no. Here we go. Or oh, it was backed on some kind of paper. Gay Spring Mood. She's beautiful. Isn't she, though? March 29th, 1936. Young Wardrobe Plan. This is a page. August 15th, 1951. So these just look to be pages that were pulled out from somewhere. This is, this one doesn't have a year, so I'm not sure what year that is. Nineteen fifty one. So this is probably the same. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. What's this one? This one is, I don't see a year on this one. <laughs> don't see a year on that one. Here we have October 1924. This one's so delicate that it's actually in a sleeve and it looks to be just the one page, the cover page. Advertisement on the back is 
Janine. September 1924. So to just tell you a little bit about my mother-in-law. Um, she's a school teacher, recently retired. So being home, she's going through a lot of things in her house that she's been collecting for many, many years. She used to have um, a little vintage um, store at one point when my husband was younger. It was called the Watermelon Patch, I think. And she would sell all things vintage in there. And then she would also attend like antique shows. And um, she would do flea markets. She would go to estate sales. And she's done that for many, 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 many years. And she has quite the accumulation of items. This is February 1932. So she has everything from buttons to textiles to um, just everything. Uh, stamps. She gave me a box of stamps. I have to go through there. Um, books. Vintage books galore. She gave me a ton of those. I have to go through. But um, it's just amazing. And honestly, she was having a little bit of a hard time letting these things go. And her plan was to do... And she's been doing this for the past... I would say three, four years. She would do these shows like... Um, in the warmer months, she would do two or three shows a month, uh, just traveling to different flea markets and stuff like that to sell sell her stuff. But because of COVID, she hasn't been able to do this, do that this year. So what she has decided to do instead was just find another way of basically um, moving this along to people who might enjoy it or appreciate it because she simply has too much, too much of it. This is, let's see, April, May, 1936. She has too much and she knows she has too much. So I'm going to help her move this. So that's where I thought, you know, maybe I can sell some of it on my channel, but there's just so much of it, right? I can't, I can't, I don't think I can't. Um, so I then thought maybe an Etsy shop and I started that process and it's actually a little scary because my friends, I am a big supporter of Etsy shops. I love going to other Etsy shops, other people's Etsy shops and buying and supporting. And I have some that I'm absolutely addicted to and um, it's just my preferred way of, you know, getting hold of anything vintage or or whatever I need I basically visit other shops <laughs> and I still continue to visit other shops and I will continue to visit other shops and purchase things because that's that's what I enjoy doing so never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would try to open one even just temporarily to help her move some of these items but I don't even know where to start with that well, I do know where to start. I got a name. That's all I got. The Vintage Attic USA. I got nothing else. I wouldn't even know how to deal with it, to be honest. Um, so, we'll see. But right now, I have this beautiful collection of all things vintage sitting here waiting for me. So, <laughs> woosa, right? Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. You're just one foot in front of the other. You can get this done. But I thought I would share some of the items with you. That is this beautiful stack of vintage fashion ephemera. And it's going to be up for sale, you know. So, hey, if you're interested in purchasing this as a whole, hit me up. Happily a laughter at gmail.com. And it's spelled exactly the same way as YouTube, my YouTube channel. But um, otherwise, I need to figure it out. Any suggestions would be great. You can leave a comment down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I truly, truly do appreciate it. There will be other videos because, as I said, I have tons more. Tons more. I think I'm going to do one video committed to the fabrics. And then I'll do one video committed to the cards. And look. Man, it's like Tetris. I knew it. So I found this piece. And it goes right here. Look at that. And it is winter 1912. There you go. Price 20 cents. <laughs>
I will catch you all in the next video, my friends. Until next time, bye-bye.